talking about Mouse Guard. Hello and welcome to the seventh letter. I'm Gino, and before we start talking about Mouse Guard, I just want to share a little experience. So, a package from Arkea Press came today. I ordered two sets of Mouse Guard dice, and as I was opening the envelope, OMG! I don't think this has been released in Australia. I don't think I've ever found it on Free Comic Book Day. That's right, Archaea Press sent me their 2011 Mouse Guard one-shot for Free Comic Book Day. I thought I'd have to go to eBay to get it. And then it turns out, look, they just sent it to me. Gave it to me as a gift for ordering Mouse Guard dice. Yes, I think Archaea Press is the best in the world right now. Anyway, I wanted to talk about Mouse Guard the RPG because Mouse Guard the RPG single-handedly changed the way we play tabletop games in my group. Now, if you don't know what Mouse Guard is, this is Mouse Guard. When this is the scene of Animal Carnage you have to deal with, you know these mice are badass. Anyway, Mouse Guard is a comic book written and drawn by David Peterson. I think it's quite good, the pacing's really nice, the story is really amazing. So far, two volumes have come out, Fall and Winter 1152. There's also a compilation called Legends of the Guard, but we won't talk about that right now. Anyway, Luke Crane, who does Burning Wheel, I'll talk about that in another episode, and David Peterson have come together and made Mouse Guard the RPG. I saw it fresh at a game store and not knowing what it was or not knowing anything about the comic, I decided to get it just because they looked cute. Alright, so I picked up the role-playing game box set instead of, like, the book, because they came with stuff that I wanted to play around with, and here's what I ended up getting. A box with a nice cover! Lots of cards to play around with. Really nice, shiny dice. I love dice. And the GM screen, which is a handy-dandy reference guide. Now, having read Mouse Guard and run a few games with it, it's fundamentally changed the way my group plays role-playing games. You see, when I grew up, there were two kinds of people who played RPGs. There were the R-O-L-E players, those who were interested in the character and character development, and moving forward to narrative and all of that stuff. And there were R-O-L-L players. Role players, essentially people who were more interested in the numbers of the system than the actual story of the system. This is a gross generalization, of course. A lot of people are in between the two groups. I personally like R-O-L-L playing as much as I do R-O-L-E playing, but I tend to swing towards the R-O-L-E side more. Right, so when we were playing Dungeons & Dragons 4th Edition, we used to be an R-O-L-L group, and we used to pretty much just design characters so they would maximize their combat stats and everything. But then we started running Mouse Guard, and we discovered it's not really about the stats, it's more about the story and how you use those stats to assist with the story. And I think that's something we can draw from any RPG, Dungeons and Dragons or Mouse Guard or otherwise, is that the stats are only there to help you move the story along. Most of role-playing is essentially just group storytelling, everybody helping to tell the story and helping to move the narrative forward. And no, I'm not really all about games that involve maxing your stats and going into a dungeon and hacking and slashing your way relentlessly without any regard or care for the entire story world. But hey, if that's your thing, feel free to do it. I'm not stopping you. What I'm saying is that we really like Mouse Guard because it pretty much enforces the fact that you have to roleplay your way through something. Let me share an example. One of the power gamers from my D&D group turned into a massive roleplayer simply because he found he didn't really have any choice. He started advancing his story and then he discovered how good narrative roleplay actually is. And for me what I love about it is that we all have fun playing it and if you have fun doing your roleplaying, that's all that matters no matter what system you use. So yeah, that's my impression of Mouse Guard. If you have any suggestions or opinions about it, just write it down in the comments below. And if you want to find out more about the world of Mouse Guard, links down in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching the 7th letter. See ya!